Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.18.1. Now this will show you how to install pretty much any shaders that's out there as long as it is 1.18 compatible. However, we are going to be installing a few shaders from our list in the description, which are all confirmed 1.18 compatible, and we're going to be even going over how to fix some of the issues. For example, if you've downloaded shaders and it's got like a black screen once you get in game or like different things look weird or whatever, you can fix that most of the time when your shaders options, and we're going to be showing you some of those shaders options and kind of where to look to fix some of those issues later in this video. However, I do want to say that if you enjoy the content we make here, be sure to subscribe and please check out our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, tedxyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually have to stay back so much that we lost our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, and they really do make what we do here on this channel possible. So you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown, tedxyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get shaders up and running in Minecraft. Now, I'm on shaders here. We are going to download a shaders pack first, but you also do need Optifine. They work together. Optifine allows the shaders packs to run and thus allows you to use shaders in Minecraft. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is our list of five shaders packs for Minecraft. Now, as I said, there are other shaders packs than the ones on this list. And if you want to install those, that's perfectly fine. As long as they are 1.18 compatible, you'll be good to go. However, we're going to be installing two from this list. We're going to go ahead and get Continuum and my personal favorite shaders pack, which is BSL Shaders. Look at how much brighter this is than some of the other shaders packs that are out there. That's what I like about it. Nevertheless, once you're here and you find the pack you want, just click on the download button under it. Some of them might take you to our website, right? Like so, where you'll have a dedicated tutorial for Continuum Shaders, or they might take you directly to the Shaders download page. Either way, if it's on our website, go ahead and click the yellow download button. In this case, Continuum Shaders takes you here, where you want to scroll down to the very, very bottom, and you'll see Continuum Downloads. Click on that, and it will take you to the downloads page, where you want to download Continuum right here. Now, your version may be different, but you want to download the biggest or most recent version, right? Like so. Boom. Downloads in the bottom left. You might need to save it on some browsers, but most likely on Google Chrome, you won't. As far as BSL shaders, though, on our website, it takes you directly here, where you then want to go ahead and click on BSL shaders. From there, you want to click on download on the right side over here on the sidebar, and then scroll down and click on the download button, right like so, for download BSL. And so I'm going to go ahead and start the download over here on CurseForge. As you can see, this is 1.18 compatible. And then the bottom left, BSL shaders does download. Awesome. Now, as I said, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need Optifine. Optifine is required to run shaders in Minecraft, and honestly, it is an amazing mod that you should have even if you don't want shaders because of all the stuff it adds. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Optifine. You can find this as the third link in the description down below. When you go there, it's going to take you to our website and specifically our dedicated tutorial for getting Optifine, but we're going to go over everything in this video. So when you're here, just go ahead and scroll down and click on the green download Optifine button. Once you've clicked on that, it will take you to Optifine's website where we're installing shaders for Minecraft 1.18.1. Now, right now, Minecraft 1.18.1 is only in beta or preview. Once it's out of preview, you'll have a version listed right here under preview versions or preview versions will have disappeared altogether. Nevertheless, if that's the case, click the mirror button over here next to that. Right now, though, because Optifine is still in preview slash beta, you want to click on the preview versions drop down. When you click on that little drop down, it'll give you Optifine right here, where you can then come over and click on the mirror button to take you to the official, basically, download page for 1.8, this specific version of Optifine. Once you're here, click on that blue download button. I want to do that one more time. So from the Optifine's downloads page, click on preview versions. Come find Optifine here, click on Mirror, that will take you to the download page for that specific version of Optifine, and then click on the blue download button to op begin Optifine download in the bottom left. Now you may need to keep this file on Google Chrome, and if you do, just click Keep. It's 100% safe to do so. Almost there, Firefox, you may need to save it in the center of your screen. Either way, you're good to do so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get Optifine and these shaders packs on our desktop. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon. I mean, it's in the top left, probably you. It's probably in the bottom left, or if you're on Windows 11, it is in the center of your screen. Open up that little Windows icon by clicking on it and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here, you'll have Optifine and Shaders. Drag these to your desktop for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we can kind of separate them a little bit because they will each be used differently. Basically, we have Optifine we're going to set up first, and then we're going to set up Shaders. Now, if these look different, that's okay, right? For example, these files right here may be WinRAR files or something like that. That's perfectly fine. Just ignore them, basically. Whatever they look like doesn't matter as long as they are, you know, downloaded from an official shaders website, you're good to go, right? As long as they're downloaded from a trustable source, you're good. Optifine may have a different logo, and if it does, it might be okay, but most likely you're going to need to download and install Java 17. To test this, go ahead and right-click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. If this opens up, you're good to go, but if you had Java and it doesn't open up, or you didn't have Java at all, 
Here's what you need to do. You need to go to the description down below and get this. Java 17 is new and it is required for anything related to Minecraft 1.18 outside of playing the game itself. Minecraft installs it kind of like automatically when you launch it, but if you want to install mods, run a server, anything like that, you need Java 17. Shaders and Optifine are mods, obviously, so you need Java 17 and this is linked in the description down below. It's an in-depth guide on how to get it. The article obviously goes through it, but we do have a video tutorial for you. Now, you may also need to run the jar fix. That's what's going to fix those icons. So if your icon for the Optifine, you know, you download it looks weird, doesn't look like mine. Running the jar fix after you've downloaded Java, you gotta download Java first, then run the jar fix, and it will link Optifine and any jar files actually to Java and make them work correctly. Nevertheless, though, we can now minimize our browser. We can right click on Optifine, we can click on Open With. We can click on Java and we can click OK. This is going to open up the Optifine installer, right like so, where you can click on Install. Now, at this point, the only reason you should have issue is if you've never played Minecraft 1.18.1. And it's important that you play 1.18.1. If you've played Minecraft 1.18, doesn't matter. It has to be Minecraft 1.18.1, which is currently, at the time I'm recording this, the most recent release. That may change in the future. And if it does, you know, you can go and create your own custom installation and play it. But you have to have played vanilla Minecraft 1.18.1 for this to work. Nevertheless, once you have, click install and you'll get this okay, successful, awesome setup. So click okay there, it'll close out of that. And now we can install shaders. To do that, we need to open up Minecraft. And before you slam that play button, we need to make sure that Optifine's selected. Now there's two ways to do this. Most likely you're gonna have an Optifine profile here, which if you do, awesome. As you can see, we do, right? We have Optifine right there it is. If you don't, go ahead and click on this little arrow right here and select it from this list. Now, if it's not in that list, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go up here to installations and then you want to click this little modded checkbox. As you can see, I checked it, it went away. Optifine's not there anymore. Check it and boom, Optifine appears. Click play and click play again. However, if you still don't have Optifine or if you launch Optifine and it's not in version 1.18.1, here's what you do. Click on new installations and then you want to name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com, which just so happens to be the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We're actually going to be testing shaders later on in this video on it. And then once you've entered in your name there, go ahead and click on the drop down box and select release 1.18. .1-optifine. Mine's at the top conveniently, but you may need to scroll down a ways to find yours. Once it's selected, I can then change my resolution. That's not required, but it is recommended for me because I'm doing a video. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the green create button in the bottom right. And now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.1-optifine under it. Hover over this and click the green play button. You're going to get this warning saying, hey, you're about to play modern Minecraft. Are you sure you want to do that? And we are. So go ahead and click you are okay with that and click play. Now, Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with Optifine. From this point, it's super, super, super easy to install shaders. It's literally going to blow your mind how simple it is to install shaders once we get on the Minecraft main menu. So I'm just going to do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you there. One thing I will say is if something like this does happen, I'm just kind of jumping in here while Minecraft's loading. This is normal, right? This freeze. You can see it looked like it was frozen. Sit and wait. It will work itself out as it just did live for you all. Here we are though on the Minecraft main menu. From here, we want to go ahead and click on options and then we want to click on video settings. Then right here it is shaders. Right there, it is set up. Now, if we click on shaders, mine's going to work. However, if you have some things turned on specifically, let me find it anti-aliasing, it's not going to work. As you can see, shaders doesn't work and there are other features as well. I'm going to show you how to read this just in case you do have one. So if you click on this and it says go to quality, anti-aliasing, and then turn it to off, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on quality and then anti-aliasing, we're going to turn that to off. Click done and there we go. We're not going to go, we can select shaders. So that's kind of how you read that. And by the way, if it just says turn one thing down, for example, if there was something on this screen that needed to be turned down, it would just say turn this off or turn this to zero or whatever. Once you've got that though, we can then again from the Minecraft main menu, go to options, video settings, and then click on shaders. Then once you're here, you want to make sure you click on shaders folder. If you don't, this isn't going to work. So you want to make sure that once you're here, click on shaders folder, and then that's going to open up shaders packs. Now from here, we need to find our, our shaders packs here. Let's go ahead and drag those up a little bit. And then we want to go ahead and drag and drop the shaders packs into this shaders folder. So that's for us going to be BSL shaders and continuum. But again, this will work with any version of shaders that is out there, or sorry, any shaders packs that are out there as long as they are 1.18. After you've dragged and dropped these into the shaders packs folder, we can and then go ahead and close out of this. Then here we are. Now, BSL was automatically selected for me because I played that in the past, but most likely you're beyond off here and you want to select the shaders pack you want. In my case, BSL, and it reloads, and there we go, BSL shaders is selected. Now, I didn't mention that if you have any issues or anything like that, like a black screen or something like that, you can fix that. Here's how. So on the right-hand side, there's a ton of different options for shaders, and you can play around with these, and sometimes that will fix black screens, but it won't always do it. What usually, usually will is shaders options. Unfortunately, I don't have a specific place for you to go to fix 
fix the specific issue you're having because every shaders pack is different. One thing you can do though is reach out to that shaders pack creator. They may have a better fix. Usually though, you'll find issues in lighting, turning these up and down, turning things on and off. And if you do do something and you don't like it, let's say we turn that down, we don't like it, we can always hit reset and start fresh. Every shaders pack is a reset button. It'll set it back to default. So go through these, try things, see what works. For example, if water is, you know, like messed up, you can go into water and change your water settings. I believe you can probably even turn, yeah, you can even turn water texture to vanilla, which means you probably wouldn't have any effect whatsoever. So nevertheless, you can do all those settings, change these all you want, but at this point, you now have shaders. Let's go ahead and jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, and check these shaders out. So once we're in game here, I do want to go ahead and show you, look how beautiful this is. I mean, look at that. See, I love BSL shaders because it is so bright and in like, you know, almost like happy, right? A lot of shaders packs end up being very, very dark, especially in buildings. So if we run over here, even BSL shaders, pretty bright and easy to see in buildings. This isn't an ad for BSL shaders, I just love it. Nevertheless, once we're in here, we wanna go into video settings again, so that's options, right? So go into options, video settings, and shaders, and you can actually change your shaders in game. So we can go ahead and click on Continuum, for example, and it will switch over to this shaders pack, which you'll be able to see is significantly darker than BSL, right? It does come into light, but it still is darker and more yellow than BSL. If we go outside, the same effect ends up happening where it's a bit darker than BSL shaders. Nevertheless, though, that's how you can install shaders. And by the way, see, this is what I was talking about. This text right here is just uh, kind of messed up. And you can play around with settings to fix that. Otherwise, though, for example, you can switch shaders packs. Shaders packs like BSL had absolutely no issues with this text. So we switch over and boom, there you go. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Come play with us on the server. Playdownbreakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I know you would love it if you came and played. It's Skyblock and Survival, the best out there. Come play on it. Nevertheless, though, thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.